uh, poor countries in the world and having uh, this kind of military conflict is having a huge impact on civilians. Uh, Canada is engaged with our allies. Uh, we have uh, assets in the region. Uh, we're looking at doing direct air lifts, lifts of uh, Canadians and dependents. Uh, we're also engaged diplomatically. I just spoke with the chairperson of the African Union this morning. Uh, to continue to offer any support Canada can have in calling for a ceasefire and looking for resolution. Uh, it's a situation we'll continue to do. With what's delay on it? Uh, th there's no delay. Obviously, it's an extremely difficult situation. We've had uh, resources in the region uh, for many days now. Uh, we're coordinating with our allies. There's uh, very limited uh, both uh, uh, places where uh, those airlifts can happen from. Uh, there's you know, discussions around uh, with the different countries on who, who gets to land when, who gets to do the airlift uh, uh, work quickly. We also have uh, a couple of uh, ships off the coast of on the Red Sea in, uh, in uh, for, uh, Port Sudan, uh, a frigate and, uh, and a supply ship. Uh, Canada is very much engaged. We will continue to be. What are the next steps on the strike? The union is asking for the resignation of the Treasury Board President. What about your level of patience? We understand that negotiations can become tense from time to time, but progress is being made. The union and negotiations are still at the table, and they're continuing to resolve certain issues, and there are other issues still pending. But we will continue to do the important work of reaching something that everyone agrees on, because Canadians deserve the services. During negotiating periods, people will say certain things to put, make progress. But we're continuing to do the work that is required. Yes, it's a very good thing. It's great to continue working with President Biden. He's done great things for Canada-U.S. relations and for the world. I will be there to support him for years to come. Obviously, I think it's great news uh, that President Biden has confirmed that he's going to uh, continue. Uh, this is, he is uh, a leader that uh, is needed, not just by the United States, but by the world, and um, looking forward to continuing to work with him for many years. What's 